Guys, in this video, I wanted to take some time to talk with you about one of the tools that is within Johnson Controls Medicis MUI, uh, specifically in with the graphics that can help you organize things and make your workflow go a little bit easier. And again, guys, just giving you an overview of this. So before we get started, guys, I would appreciate it if you would like the video, subscribe to my channel, share the video, just take the URL and post it on your social media. It really does help the channel grow. One of the things that we have within our graphics is a very useful tool of being able to click directly into equipment. For example, you can see on this page here, what we have is we do have the ability to click into a VAV. As you can see, when I hover over the screen, you can see the change where it highlights that there is equipment there. And if I were to click into that equipment, it will take me to that VAV in particularly. This is a dual duct system. This is just one of many systems that we have, but this is just as an example, I want to show you a little more usefulness that you can do. For example, if I was looking at this space and I had a couple of different air handlers, which as you see here for this particular floor, there are two different air handlers that serve this floor. And if I needed to know which air handler it was, that served a specific space. You know, there's ways of doing it as far as drawing and labeling and stuff like that, but you can get your space cluttered up and you don't want to do that. So the feature that we're going to look at is the layers. And that is going to be found here. This basically looks like a stack of books in the upper right hand corner of your display. I'm going to press that and you're going to see that I have a couple of different unchecked layers here. Uh, this is the air handler coverage layer and this is a mechanical layer that we'll talk about in a few moments. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check the air handler coverage layer and basically what that's going to do is just turn that layer on and I want you to notice one of the things that it does. Instead of it hovering and highlighting just an individual room, it allows me to set up a space or basically to where I can show the coverage area of the air handler and when I do the same over here you can see when I hover over it it also tells me what I'm going to navigate to and it tells me which air handler it is and so on. This is just one of the ways that this tool can be used. There is another way that we have it as well and that is I have the mechanical drawings for this building basically overlaid with the graphic. These are older drawings. So these go back for when the building was done many years ago. But basically what I did was just took a screenshot, a snapshot of those graphics and or of the uh, uh, mechanical plans and then just overlaid those for the floor plan. Uh, you know, and there are many ways you can do this. If you have access to the CAD files to where the mechanicals were done, you can make this look a lot better. But for our purposes, this is a very useful tool because instead of having to go in and hunt and search for a VAV box or any kind of a particular equipment, uh, the techs can simply take what they have in their hands using their laptop or whatever and we can click into the system and know approximately where in a room a box is going to be located at. And you can see the coverage links and everything as well. You can see which boxes cover which areas and so on. Now this is just one of the ways that you can use the layers. You know the air handler coverage and the reason that I wanted to make this is because of an upcoming project that we have uh, new construction for a facility to where there are two sets of VAVs that are going to be overlapping as far as their coverage. And what they're going to be doing, for example, is one VAV is going to be providing outside air to a group of rooms while an additional room VAV will be doing the main temperature control for an individual room. So using the layers, we're going to be able to differentiate between having the room VAV and then having the one that is going to be for outside air. Changing these and setting these up is quite easy. And the way that you will do them is within your graphics editor. In fact, I'm going to jump in there and show it to you. I'm going to go to the skinny snowman in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to select feature management and then I'm going to go graphics manager. 
and this is going to bring me into the graphics manager to where I can edit or change or do whatever I need to do for this particular space. Since I was in this first floor space, it automatically took me there. And when I hit the edit button, and it's going to bring me within the space to where I can go in and make changes. To add, to change, or whatever as far as when it comes to layers, I want to select this option right here. Again, that stack of books, that layers icon, and when I click that, what it does is it brings up the edit panel for this to where I can turn layers on and off and so on. And always remember the layer that you highlight is the one that you will be working with. Okay, you, So you do not want to make the mistake of checking into one of these other layers, thinking you're working on something else, and you realize later on that it just does not work. For example, if I was to try to make a change on one of the layers that are turned off currently, uh, if I were to try to make that change, it is not going to show up as you would think. Basically, it's, it's going to not appear if I have it unchecked. However, if I check that layer and turn it on, then I can see what I'm working on. I have it highlighted blue here. That's an indication that this is a layer that I'm working on and so on. Now, what I need to mention is these checkboxes. These checkboxes in the edit mode are going to be whether or not you have something to hide or show when you are viewing. For example, you'll notice in the previous screen that I had these unchecked, and that's how I want them to be. Okay, I want them to be unchecked until I go in and check them. I don't want to go to this floor plan and then automatically see the mechanical drawings or anything like that. So when I set the layer up, when I add in the graphics or whatever I'm going to add, I will then leave these unchecked because they're not going to be the primary thing that I want to appear. Now you can order things however works for you, for your system, and so on. If I wanted to add a layer, all I would do is simply hit this plus sign right here, and then it simply comes up with another layer. And you're going to see that it is automatically defaulted checked on. So that means if I was to add something here, that is going to show up when I view the main page. And I can also go in and change the name of it. Just click on the name and add whatever name that I want to on this particular layer. Since I'm not going to be saving this, I'm just going to go ahead, close that back out. And then if you need to delete a layer, you have it highlighted. Make sure you have the correct one highlighted that you want to delete or that you want to work on. You can mess yourself up if you're not careful. And then I'm simply going to hit the trash can to get rid of that layer and again guys this is a very useful tool where you can add drawings you can add notes I could have a layer here just for operating notes for a particular piece of equipment or a particular space it's really up to you and what you want to do within your system this is a very handy tool that can help make your workflow a little bit better Again, guys, you can see just how easy it is to set these up, going in and building your graphics. I've got an entire playlist on Metasys MUI, and I do have some videos on how to do your graphics, and this is just one more aspect of it. But guys, hope you like the video. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments. Again, guys, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel, share these videos. It really does help. Check out all of the affiliate links. That way you can kind of help support what we do here. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel, and we will see you next time.